Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Wings Over Flanders Fields. Uh, this is Rick Rawlings and here we are uh, ready to, to go out for mission number four. Flying for the Royal Naval Air Squadron number one with pilot Philip Flighty. So let's go take a look. Let's uh, go ahead. He's got a lot of every you can set up campaign videos so they'll play and you get different ones at the beginning of each one. Uh, let's see. So we're now in July 29th, 1917. If you remember from last mission, we got our engine shot out from us uh, due to some particularly vicious Germans that decided they were going to pick on poor little Phil. guess they could tell he was the new guy. So we're going to, I can't remember if we advanced at the end or not, but we'll just go, I don't know, a day or two forward. And that will make everything nice and kosher. Takes to the very tail end of July. Those boys of summer are going to be gone, and it's back to war. All right, so 31st of July, 1917, four, oh, 400 hours. We're going to bump that up so that we are uh, flying in the daylight. We've got a few players out, or a few uh, pilots out from our squadron there. A couple of two-gun triplanes. Maybe we'll try one of those later on um, once, we, once we've earned it by... Doing a little bit more than we've done so far. So head off to the briefing room. Catch you there. So we've managed to pull a patrol enemy front lines mission from the old CO. Poor weather. Round trip 40 miles. Time to target 10 minutes. Uh, altitude is 4,300 feet. So it looks like we're going to be staying under the cloud cover. So it's pretty much due south. Heading down towards Arras. Lens, do I? So let's take a look at our flight here. Um, we're going to haul that fuel way down. I'm going to say 60. You still want because um, I'm going to say 65, actually. We, we go kind of go back and forth. So it's 40 round trip, but that's just if you go down and immediately come back and land. Usually we ping pong back and forth a couple times till we encounter some enemies. Let's say 65 is probably good. Um, we've got Roderick Dallas in our flight, and I think that's pretty much it. So we're going to head off to the fields, and we'll catch you there. And here we are on the field. Going over there, we're going to get the engine up and running. There actually is a rudimentary engine startup procedure that I always forget to use, because I always forget what it is. Um, you have to put the mixture up, and then crack the throttle open, I think, and then uh, get the ignition. It's, it's not super authentic, so we usually don't bother with it, but maybe we'll, we'll give it a go at some point here. You can remember to look that up. back. Alright, take a moment to make sure we don't have anybody raining down death on us. It's okay. Hit the mixture. Back up a little bit and head off for the front. We're not going to have to gain too much altitude, but uh, oh, lightning strike! A few lightning strikes should make this interesting. Heading off to the front, and as always, if something happens, you'll be the second to know. all that lightning. I know that uh, I'm not a path to ground, 
but still, I don't, my character, my pilot doesn't know that, I, I would imagine. Archie's awake. The, uh, so you, we have a map, um, but the front line, let's look, let's look. So we're kind of like where the, maybe you see the front line right here, right? Or where the front is. We're just getting to it now, but it really, I mean, we've kind of been over it for a bit. So it's not a, always a one-to-one -one with the map. It's kind of... general guy. I mean, those guys are not only are there giant lightning strikes, but they are getting pounded by artillery down on the front lines. I'm glad I'm not down there. All in all, I guess it's better to be up here. everybody to pick on me. I'm going to follow my flight in. See what we can come up with here. So there's, what do we got? Oh yeah, those are albatross. Scouts of the albatross variety. Driving away, so we're not follow him at the moment. Instead, let me go after this guy right here. If we can maybe. Oh. Rawlings, get your head in the game here. What are you doing? That was a solid hit, I don't know, that might have been a conceivable, that was a pilot hit right there. Let's see what that guy does. So he's going to auger right in. He's pulling out, but that could just be damage flight controls. Somebody's down there. Still up. So we've got a couple of tripounds. Nope, they're still, they're still shooting at him. Propeller is out, so we will <laughs> we'll let him go down on his own. But these these guys have no such function. We're gonna keep shooting at him till he's ashes on the ground. All right. <sighs> Let me see. So there's no more friendly. Maybe 
back together. I'm going to try to gain a little altitude because I don't want ground fire. To end my flight just yet. Okay, so there's one plane down and then another one. one two planes down. I guess those are the two albatross scouts we saw. Now I gotta try to find out where my team went. Brown. That right there. Like one of Olam's convoys. Convoys. We can talk. Veterans of the forums will recognize an Olam's convoy when they see one. Doing God's work out there on the front. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'm gonna try to find my guys. Brown planes against the brown ground without sort of atmospheric filtering where everything just kind of looks the same color and this is somebody over there. That's a flight train. Okay, so I'm going to try to get back together with them and then uh, bring you back in if cool things happen. Other than me getting shot down by flak, holy cow. Last damage. Duly warning. Great. All right. So engine is damaged. All right. We're gonna head. Where are we going south. We're gonna head west. See if we can find a place to put that down. That was. I'll tell you what. I've gotten hit way more times by Archie in the since we've been doing this series. I ever have, I think, the entire time I've been playing Wings Over Flanders Field. So, I don't know what the... It's not looking good. What the chances of having an engine fire are. I'm just gonna... See if we can gain a little altitude, maybe, and then I'm just gonna cut the engine. Prevent a fire. to land. Alright, cutting the mixture. And then looking for a good place to touch down here. If we can get over towards the town that would be nice. World War One planes could glide a long ways. There are uh, several stories of pilots that would have their engine shot out or run out of fuel over the lines and they would actually be able to make their way um, back home. It was trickier for the uh, Entente pilots to get back because they were generally flying into the wind and that would cut down quite a bit on the distance they could glide. The Germans could be carried, I don't know, all the way over to Russia maybe if they really, really stuck with it, but But yeah, we're, so we're going to try to find a place to set down. That's our, our artillery. Yeah, so we got a infantry group right there that was throwing some artillery up at the enemies. Man, I hope 
I don't get in trouble for this. I was following the my flight. None of them got hit and I got hit. CO's probably gonna be yelling at me because the second plane I brought back with an engine blown out. Probably have to clean out the latrines or something. Um, so that's there's an observation balloon. You may I don't know if you may have noticed like I was kind of checking for some planes and there were German observation balloons. Um, and you may wonder why we weren't attacking those. Here's I'm gonna use this road right here. So there's kind of an unwritten rule in the Wings Over Flanders Fields community that you don't shoot down observation balloons that aren't your mission mission target because they generally don't seem to have the level of difficulty that they would have in real life. In real life, most pilots seem to hate taking on observation balloons because they were, you know, they were flown at a known altitude. So the artillery that was, you know, the anti-aircraft, the artillery that was uh, watching over them had it very closely pre-ranged. So it was pretty difficult to get down and shoot them up and then get out safely. Here, it's just not the case. I don't know if there's a way that they could have an intensified artillery around them or always have planes in the air I don't know but at any rate you just generally don't shoot them down if they're not your target for future reference let's get this down and touch down and try to avoid trees make sure there's no fences pretty good not as uh, so the Dead stick landings aren't as bouncy as something like uh, you know the flying circus would be. The, the the ground game is just not quite that good, but you still have to be careful. And you can definitely nose over. You can run into a fence. You can run into a tree. Take a bad bounce. So uh, there is there is a level of, of care that has to be taken there. Shut down, throttles down, fuel mixture is off. I'm gonna just kind of float around here, hang around here for a bit while my guys have a chance to get back into friendly territory, and then I will meet you in the debrief. All right, welcome to the debrief portion of the mission. I'll tell you what, I was uh, sitting there, time uh, accelerated. <laughs> waiting for my team to get back and I was like man if I uh, lightning bolt hits me right now as I'm sitting there wouldn't that just be great but I made it through just fine although I was forced to land my machine which the comma should be there but for some reason it's down here fortunately within friendly lines apparently we are gonna get credit for that guy that we probably hit the pilot on I think um, fill in the report blah, 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 shaken up Blah, 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 four aircraft, four aircraft, and let's see who, I think everybody made it back. I think we, uh, yeah, so we had light damage, everybody's okay. Um, so apparently there, I only saw two albatross, but apparently there were three, maybe four, I don't know. But at any rate, we pretty handily uh, took care of them. Everybody came back fairly safely. Plane will be we'll fine with a new, uh, new engine there. Yeah, so I think I probably got, it looked like I might have got right in the cockpit on that deflection shot as he went by me, and then he just went into that spiral. Um, and then I think it was just probably dead stick after that uh, that just caused the plane to just kind of loop around like that and then have a crash. So we're going to use, uh, I guess we'll use uh, Rosevere, Stanley Rosevere, Rosevere, I guess is how you'd say that, for our witness because he didn't, He's got no claims, and so he's not going to dispute our claim there. So let me do the uh, do the claim here, and then I'll pull you back in. Rosevere right there, and that was uh, that was going to be an albatross. I'm thinking it was a three, although I didn't really get to see it. We'll just call it a plain old D3. Type this up, and then be right back with you. All right, there we go. That's all done. So let's uh, submit. And then we'll take a look back at the squadron ready room here. Let's see what the situation is. Claim is confirmed.
came down near our forward lines, so that was probably a pretty easy claim to make. Done. Uh, take a look at the pilot, see if we can get any further information. So, oh, three kills. I thought we only had two. I guess I forgot what the other guy was. So another albatross. Oops, is that the remarks here? Uh, no additional information about him. Oh, we have to. We'll have to try to do some afternoon flights here. We've, everything's in the morning. All right. So we are now into August of 1917 with our pilot, uh, Mr. Philip Flighty. And we're going to, uh, I'll, I'll just advance time next time we come back because I keep forgetting if I have or not when I do the new video. So we'll just do it that way and that way um, we'll, we'll be not too far ahead. So that is mission number four for our naval squadron flying the Sopwith triplane, one gun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the, the experience and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, take care out there. This is Rick Rawlings. Or let's fly or let's play wings over Flanders fields.